Okay, Pat Curley from LearnToGoBoxGuitar.com. How you going? Uh, I'm going to look at a couple of blues riffs that we can play with our three-string cigar box guitar. A slide and some finger picking. So you need the slide and the finger picking. Uh, I'm tuned G, D, G. And I've got my guitar set to the mortal coil pickup with the higher gain and a bit, a bit more uh, top end on it. Got that more bluesy sort of sound to it. Okay, um, so I'm going to start with pretty simple and move on to some more advanced stuff. If, you, if you're struggling with the more advanced stuff, you need to do some practice on your skills and find that those resources elsewhere. My website's the best place for that, I've got to say. Um, and people that have done my course already um, will be looking forward to um, learning some more e extended blues riffs. Yeah. All right, um, let's have a look at this one, right? So you would have already seen from the second dot to the first dot and back open again. If you've got frets, that'll be the fifth fret and the third fret. Don't squeeze the slide in, that's really important. You'll get... Won't sound good. Really light touch. Two, three. So the rhythm's gonna be... One and a two and a three and a... And a three and a two and a three and a. Okay, so my thumb, the, the main note there is on the first, on the down, one and a two and a three and a, uh, uh, on the down, but the thumb can play a little note just before that. Now let's zoom in a little bit and have a look at that, shall we? Uh, better still, let's have a look at your, my right hand. So one and uh, two and uh, three and... Uh, let's just pick it with the first finger. It's got a bit more blues on it if you do that, probably. Yeah. Now, I'm stopping that first one just by taking the slide off and leaving my, the rest of my hand there. And then coming back to there. I can also go the other way. And again, take it off, back down and stop. Sounds a lot better than... I stopped it without even meaning to then. Let's try not to. Don't really like that slide there. You might. You might want to slide back even. Learn these little riffs and then um, learn how to mess with them, which is what we're going to do now, right? We're going to mess with both of those. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is put something in the gap, right? So slide up to that 12th fret and just shake it. You might want to play the thumb before you do that. Let's just go back to that one. Okay, what do I do then? Slid back from the 10th, 12th back to the 10th. So little variations that you can do on that one uh, in that gap there, right? Um, some variations back here that you could also do. So that's on the top string from the third fret, the first dot, to open. That was on the top string again. Now on the middle string from the third fret to the top one, open. I think I played the open string in the middle first. That would make sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, so a couple of pretty simple little variations to put in there. Let's refine that riff a little bit now, right? So instead of playing all of them, just play the top string. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. You just need a little bit more control with your slide. I'm getting that by just um, tilting it back a little bit. So instead of having it straight, I'm tilting it back. So I just get the top string. And making sure again that you um, stop the notes from sounding when you want them to stop. Um, let's uh, finesse this one a little bit, shall we? So we're gonna go from that second dot to the first dot, or the fifth fret to the third fret. But when we get to the third fret, gonna slide up into the middle there in between the two dots, or under the fourth fret, and then open. Don't go up like I did right at the start and stop there. Make sure that you just grease it, so. Like that, so it's that little bluesy meow, slide, wow, sort of, sort of sl slide on it. <clears throat> Let's add one more thing to that now. So I played the open string before I went to the um, third fret. Don't stop there. Yeah, so that's like um, Manish Boy, isn't it? When I was a young boy, about the age of five, etc., etc. Yeah. Um, another one like that is Hoochie Coochie Man that goes like that. Now, you, you would have seen, and I've got a lesson somewhere, I think, of Hoochie Coochie Man just doing this. That's one way to do it. Um, but originally on the recording, it was pretty sure it was. Um, where we go in the middle string, open to the third fret, open to the third fret, and then open on the top, yeah? So if you have a look at my right hand, you can see that I'm going, and then um, muting that before I play the top. Try it like this. bringing your thumb down and picking it with your first finger. You get a better tone that way, I reckon. It's minimal, but your first finger's just stronger. See, I'm trying to hit that one strong with that finger. It just doesn't work. Yeah? There's another little riff on that one. Um, just before we wrap up, let's have a look at some more complex um, little fills that you can do in there then. So... Uh, that's more of an Elmore James thing. I'll cover that in the next one. that in the next one too but let's just have a look at it for now so it's um, 12th fret 10th fret on the top slide up to from the 11th fret to the 12th in the middle like that yeah I'm gonna look at that much more closely in the next riffs video um, but that's one option in there yeah Um, you can do some cool stuff on the bottom end in, in the gaps too. So what was that? That was just the same as I did on the top, an octave lower. 
and that's that one is the same thing but resolve to the five instead of uh, on the middle string instead of there so Okay, go away and have a bit of a play with that and um, listen to all the great tunes that use it and muck about with it yourself. It's heaps of fun. Cheers.